Hey, and welcome to Toy Chest Quest. Today we're going to do a review video. Uh, I've been collecting these guys for the past like month, month and a half, and I've been dying to do a holiday review for the channel. And I figured I'd just do them all at once. Now, there are five total. I only got three, as you can see here. There was, I did see the Clone Trooper from GameStop, but I kind of passed on that one because uh, the Clone Trooper is an all right design. But overall, I wanted these three. I did want the Target Santa Claus one. Um, it's like the solo trooper uh, that were like a snow trooper that were like uh, magnetized to the side of the train in solo and they've repainted it to look like Santa Claus and it's very delightful. I'm pretty sure the little character from that is Dio from Rise of Skywalker. So he's like, uh, he looks like a little like a uh, reindeer. Very adorable. Um, first off, I want to go ahead and get this out on Front Street. I think these are delightful. Uh, I know there was a lot of backlash when these were first announced because they are a little silly, but I think they are super fun. Um, each one you can see is a repaint of a trooper from various generations of Empire and First Order, in this guy's case. Um, each one also comes with some sort of a little creature from Star Wars that has been also painted special for this set and a weapon. I love how unique each of these has turned out. I remember when they first started announcing these uh, a couple months back, I remember I saw one and I was like, what? These are wild. I can't believe they made this figure. Then another one came out and another one and another one. It became a joke between me and a buddy of mine where we were just sending each other. Every time they'd announce one, I'm like, I can't believe they made all of these. These are so fun. Um, this is probably the one I wanted the most right off the bat. It's the First Order Trooper with the Holiday Babu Frick. And he also comes with a, looks like some sort of a Nerf gun repaint for the Stormtrooper or the First Order rifle. And uh, I actually don't even have a regular Babu Frick. I kind of missed the boat on getting him. So the only Babu Frick I have is this cutie little holiday boy. Um, I think this packaging's really fun. I, let me think, I'm trying to think. Cause I got one of them on, I think I got two of these online and then one of them I found in this one, I found it a hunt, which I'll post that should be up here right about now. If you want to check out when I got this guy from Walmart and um, these were just sitting on the shelf. I have gone back to that Walmart since a few times and have not seen them. Um, the only one I've seen on multiple uh, visits would have to be the GameStop one, which I've seen. Uh, they usually only have one, maybe two, and I've seen them in a few GameStops. But like I said, uh, that's definitely not my favorite of these. But um, I think you should definitely get one of these. I think these can become like an elf on a shelf type tradition. That's what they're going to become in my house. They're actually going to, uh, starting probably tomorrow, terrorize our elf on the shelf that we just also got this year. Um, so my plan is to, I'm going to show you, I've more or less kind of showed you all of these, but we'll quickly look at them again. And they're in the new style boxes, which I am obsessed with. I wish all of... Hasbro's six inch figures came in these because they're very easy to break down and very easy to get into. Um, I will quickly just show you each of these again so you can get a nice full view of them. They have these adorable uh, like holiday to and from tags and airbrush. That is so fun. I think that is, these are just so neat. I think these would make really good stocking stuffers. Uh, little kids in particular, I think would get a real hoot out of these. Uh, I'm 33 and I'm getting, I, I will always, I will probably forget I have these and then unpack my holiday stuff every year and I will just freak out. All right, so if you're new to the channel, what I've been doing lately is I like to talk about what I got and then we'll go and take a closer look when I unbox them. So let's take a closer look. All right, let's get a closer look at these guys. I'm gonna save this one for last because it's the one I'm the most excited about. So we'll go ahead and get into it here. Hopefully I don't cut off a finger trying to multitask though boy that would make for a great YouTube video oh my goodness look at this backdrop this is the sweetest little thing <laughs> look at these little snowflake patterns oh my gosh there's stormtroopers and little Darth Vader's very fun maybe these are the Death Star exploding who knows I like that a lot though that is very fun And as always, these packages are my favorite because two simple cuts and you can pop the side out. 
all folds down flat. Paper, still not sure what those are really about. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually stopped and read one of those yet. All right, oh man, I'm liking this guy a lot. I think this ice spear is really fun. I don't know if I have any Star Wars weapons that are this big. Maybe Ray's staff is, no, it's still probably only right about there. That is neat though. Okay, let's put that down. Yeah. Let's get this little cord out. Oh my goodness. I have to push it from the back. I'm excited to have different colored cords because I have a bunch of the uh, original Last Jedi cord releases here. I've actually got my lazy Susan here we're going it. And uh, I'm very excited to have different colored porgs in general. The porgs are probably, well, this porg will probably stay out, but one the scarf's probably going to have to get packed away. A little too hot, a little too Christmassy. All right. Oh my gosh, look at these elf boots on this guy. I didn't even notice those. Okay, well, first off, you got to really take a moment to appreciate this sweater which has looks like an x-wing up here and then an atat -AT walker or at at walker there i love the paint job on this i think this little red right here on the brim is gorgeous i think this guy really pops man this is maybe my favorite one now that i've popped it out of the packaging especially with the little elfy boots there um, does have a little slot for a gun, though it does not come with one, but that is fine by me. Let's go ahead and give him this little staff. We'll open up the next one here. Just moving right along. All right. Yeah, I'm really into that guy. That is a great figure. Oh, he is into falling and eating his. Let me grab a stand for bro figures, so we have to get some sort of a Hasbro stand or something a little better. If you have recommendations for stands that you're using, let me know. You think I'd be able to stand this guy up with the pole and the stand and everything here? All right, there we go. Okay. Yeah, but if you have recommendations for Star Wars figures in particular, let me know below. I like to hear those things. The last time I asked for help, I had a really, uh, I had uh, two comments in particular that really stood out. Uh, one guy recommended I use a hair dryer to heat up my figures, which I absolutely love. I thank you so much for that tip. And um, another person said I should open up the NECA guys with fingernail clippers. He, he said that he specifically got fingernail clippers to open figures, and I love that too. Definitely be implementing both of these tips into my normal toy opening. So thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Okay. Oh, they're, they're, I didn't realize the tags were different even. Like look, this one's got the snow trooper on the tag. Those are fun. I kind of wish they'd made these tags. I would buy these. Though no one would be able to read them. And uh, I have to explain that it was like a fake Star Wars language. So there's all of that. All right, I'm not gonna give you my spiel again about recycling. I feel like once an episode's enough. And this guy comes with like a little version of the staff, which I didn't notice. Look at this. That is pretty neat. Yeah, it's more like a little, like uh, that's like some sort of staff and something more of a spear. Right, let's talk off this little. <laughs> oh my gosh, who put a scarf on this board? That is amazing, how funny. These little wings, of course, move just like the other two pack of porgs. All right, we're gonna put him on here too. <laughs> oh, that is, these are a riot. All right, let's pop this snowtrooper out here. Oh, he's got a backpack on too. No, he'd have a backpack since the stormtrooper had a hole for one, but did not have one, but. Yes, the snowtrooper does. A little bit of paint error there, not a big deal. It's on the back, no one's ever gonna see it but me. I love that this is like a scarf that has been like, you know, it's like a candy cane colored scarf. Oh my gosh, he's got shoes that are funny too. 
Let's talk about that. They are like candy cane Santa. They're like candy cane Santa boots. Oh my gosh, how fun. These are a blast. I am gonna have so much fun. Definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not because I have a feeling I'm gonna be posting a lot of these guys, especially closer to the holiday season, getting into all kinds of holiday mischief. It's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's go ahead and staff up. Yeah, I'm glad that the, the weapon variety seems pretty good. I don't remember what the other two I didn't get come with, but even though these are similar, they're different enough that I, I really dig it. Can get him to stand on his own, you think? Should I get another stand? I think I can make him stand. Oh, yes. How about that? Now, at home, place your bets to how long before those fall over. I'm sure it'll be very soon. Okay. Oh! <laughs> okay. Who had two seconds? You had two seconds at home, you win. But we're also going to put these guys on here, too, because you can't get enough of these porgs. At least I can't. All right, there we are. All right, like I was starting to say, last but certainly not least, let's open up the Sith. Oh, it's a Sith Trooper. That is my mistake. I've been saying First Order Trooper this whole time, so please, 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 please forgive me. I, uh, it, it just very much looks like a, with the repaint, it's hard to tell a difference, honestly. Uh, you know, honest mistake. I honestly kind of forgot there were Sith Troopers. I didn't hate Rise of Skywalker, but I didn't really love it. I'm a big fan of uh, Last Jedi. I think that one was really great. And I think Rise of Skywalker might have been a little rushed and a lot of weird ideas. But you know, there's a lot of fun things in there. And I don't try to stress about Star Wars movies because I think it is a fool's errand to stress about things that are meant for fun. So, let's talk about someone who is so fun that makes that whole movie worth it for me, and that's this guy right here. No, actually, we're gonna save Babu Frick for last because we're gonna get the trooper out first. Okay, let's get this Nerf gun out. Oh, that's awesome. Nerf gun is great. Nerf or nothing. Oh, it's got a little movable handle, which I like that. I always like these little what I call Hasbro surprises, because it does not say on the packaging, movable handle. So you'll just open up Hasbro, Star Wars stuff, and find out they have all these features that are not listed. All right, let's get out this Sith Trooper. <laughs> okay, first off the bat, I notice, hold on, let's put Bobby here for three. First off the bat, I notice they've repainted, repurposed um, Lando Calrissian's scarf, and they have put what I was laughing about earlier, these little, Tiny, see it here, these little tiny uh, snowflake patterns with little Sith Trooper helmets. Uh, this guy <laughs> also has the boots that I think are a riot and I think are really make these really, really fun. Um, I love Hasbro for making these. I think these are so fun. And um, I hope they continue to make kind of sillier Star Wars figures from time to time, just because why not? They already had the molds for these, and uh, I don't see why you wouldn't just go ahead and make them. They seem like, uh, for as many people were complaining and hating on these, they sure did sell out. I have not seen them anywhere, and the Amazon price for, oh my gosh, it's so stupid. The Amazon price for the Santa one that I wanted was up to like 50 or 60 bucks, at least on Amazon. I haven't checked eBay yet, or Mercari. But uh, I'm thinking maybe after the holidays, maybe someone will budge a little on one of those. I can get it, put it away, and then be stoked about it next holiday season. <laughs> that is so fun. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. Look at this guy. What a set of figures. For real. Hasbro, thank you so much for making these. By some chance you're hearing this, I think that these are a total blast. It's definitely gonna become a holiday tradition in my family to pose these around our house. And like I said, these will be quickly making their way upstairs today to 
bug my elf on the shelf. So I think that'll be a fun thing to add to our oh no, repertoire of holiday decorations. I think this would break, I think this will really break up your holiday decorations as well. Cause you know, you have a lot of standard traditional things and I think these are a real, real blast. And I think a lot of people will get a kick out of these if they see these in your house or just, you know, taking pictures of them, posting them online this year. That's what I'll be doing with mine. So yeah, I really love these figures. I think that um, Hasbro did a really good job. I'm actually gonna put this guy on the, this thing for last. And then we gotta get Babu Frick. I almost forgot. Prince of Star Wars. Maybe he's holding his feet holder in a different place. Oh yeah, look at these guys. These are a great set. I think these are so much fun. Real difficult time getting the Stormtrooper to stand, but other than that, the other ones have been pretty good. Now, it might just be me. Just needs a little finessing, I imagine. All right, last but certainly not least, the reason for the season, it's Babu Frick. He's not the reason for the season, but boy, is he adorable in his little Christmas getup. Pop this guy out of here. Okay, now, as I said, this is my first Babu Frick. So, uh, I don't know if I'm going to put him away or not. He's pretty funny. And if it's just like the other one, yes, his little visor comes down. You can see him. He's so tiny. Um, he is. Oh, my gosh. You, what would you think? Uh... I feel like this is maybe the obvious one, but Babu Frick for Christmas. Ho ho? Probably? Please don't unsubscribe. I apologize. Oh boy. There he goes again. Darn it, these guys. I'm so bad at knocking stuff over, so apologies. But, oh yeah. Let's put Babu down there. Very fun. Oh my gosh, I love these guys. But yeah, oh, I couldn't be happier with these figures. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun unboxing and reviewing these figures and I'm gonna have so much fun putting them all over my house and posing them for the holidays. Uh, if you see any of these in the wild, grab them. I don't think they're gonna be something that you're gonna be able to find on clearance or maybe even again. This one came from Amazon. This one came from Best Buy and I got both of these online. And then this one I actually had in stores at Walmart. The Santa is a Target exclusive and the Clone Trooper is a GameStop exclusive. So I think that's really fun. I uh, actually like the chase, especially as a YouTube toy hunting enthusiast. I like the chase of the different figures at different places. So uh, thank you so much. I know it's a little harder to do those kind of things this year with uh, everything going on. I know these were a little hard to snag online because they went so quickly. I know I had a lot of trouble with this one from Amazon where it kind of uh, just took the longest to get here. And I actually was waiting to shoot this review to get this one and to hopefully find the Santa one, which never ever uh, turned out, sadly. But you never know, maybe I'll still find one before the year is over and I can add it to the collection. Uh, if so, I don't know if I'll be reviewing it or not. I might do a quick Instagram review. We'll do something like that. I don't know. We'll see. But hey, thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. I appreciate your support and uh, everybody's been just, as I always say, super nice with the comments. So luckily, uh, you guys are all just the sweetest and uh, the best people. Uh, thanks so much. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already below. And I'll be making a lot of fun other holiday-based videos. So stay tuned to the channel and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much for watching.